Yo, everybody, the grand final is on. $4,000 on the line and bragging rights. On the upper left-hand side, it is Happy representing Aurora team. And on the right-hand side, we see Lin representing all the orcs in the world. Can he avenge, focus, and fly? Happy has eliminated both of them. So it's time to show who really is the best orc in the world. Turtle Rock to start things off. We're on one lane. First to four. Look at the background for both of these players. How decorated they just are. World Championships, of course, their most famous match between them. Two very famous matches. The Blizzard Invitational in 2018. With uh, Shadow Hunter Tower Rushes on Terranus stand. And of course, WGL, the big, big, big grand final in 2019. It is a Blade Master, and this is so hype. Lin with the Blade Master is a force to be reckoned with. No Farseer here anymore. We've seen it time and time again. Stealing last hits against Happy seems to be impossible. Blade Master, if you can stack him. We saw the crits. We've seen the matches between Fly and Happy with 300 crits well decked out. And this seems to be the way. But this is also a new way for orcs. Farseer into Mass Air. Farseer into Mass Headhunters. And now the Blade Master's back. And look at Lin. No barracks. Blade Master fast tag. No Rex early shop. And Happy doesn't like this. We've seen it time and time again. Critical strikes cannot be calculated. They appear at random. And of course the damage scales like crazy. So... Little bit late for the steal item though. Was the ring of superiority and Happy did not pick that up in time. First little damage boost for Lin and the first little exclamation mark in the grand final of one-on-one -on -one Warcraft. And also not too much HP. What is Happy doing with the freedom of not seeing grunts and not seeing headhunters early? He's rushing across. Of course he learned his lessons as well. Thank you, Hersh, for the 16-month resub. Hello! Back to Warcraft team and chat. Happy Easter! Second turtle. Happy can always get the last hits. Should be at least. It's a little bit of XP on Lin. And can you, do you want to involve this? Okay, that was the last hit by Lin indeed. But Happy gets level two and with that... Unholy Aura. Ghouls are creeping at the same time. There's still an item left. Gobbling up all the green spots. Is this the necessary power you need to have in the early game? Chip damage is always important. Wow, Lin with another little turtle. If he can get to like 1.6, that would be pretty solid. We have one grunt very hurt. Happy investing the third coil. All the other two items went to Happy, but it's only a cloak and we have more Windwalk left. Maybe another backstab. Happy is hurt. And across the base or across the map from his base. Unholy Aura is of course regening a little bit but happy could always hide if need be very few if at all heal selves invested very 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 efficient and Lin now what the hell radar walker war chief is coming with new guns Blade Master, Raider Walker, Shadow Hunter. New and old guns, I guess. Happy blocks himself with the ghouls a little bit, enabling the Blade Master to get some more damage in. This early game isn't particularly good for Happy, is it? 2.5 is, of course, nice, but mana is gone. Statues are quite far away. And there's a lot of control coming in for Lin. With Raider and Snare, with Hex. Blade Master is severely underleveled, of course. 
early shade. Wow. The first building he gets is a shade, not a slaughterhouse. And this is very, very, very heavy in lumber. Happy with ghouls, of course, and this will be the biggest problem for Lin. Oh, must be a cancel. That's a sweet delay on the statues. And with Happy being so low on lumber, he's reliant on these statues. Knusper Hoden, 350 euro. Don't know. Lin FTW. Ooh, Lin creeping save. The Ogre Magi, similar to the Ogre Lord on Concealed Hill. Lin didn't have to play for two days. And he didn't have to do that much practice versus Fortitude. He killed him 3-0. and oh. All the prep went towards Happy. And that is scary. So far, I think his game plan is working out. But Lich is out. Coil Nova heal potion purchased early. These are expenses that you don't necessarily want to take. Spike Barricades, Radar Walker, and Tier 3. Okay. Okay. A little bit of HP. The defense is set up. Needs concrete, of course. Happy going for a Gark. What? Is that a misread? He hasn't seen the radar and the walkers, right? It is solid scouting. It is nice to have, but he doesn't have to be afraid of a Zeppelin. They're not on this map. Blade Master damage is worrying though, but here comes the Shadow Hunter, still with a lot of hex. Nice retreat by Happy though. And Scourge Bone Chimes for Ghouls is of course outstanding. TC third, level twos, critical strike, heal wave, more sustain, more damage. And now Happy saw the army. Lin, there's still a lot of greens, there's also a lot of reds. There's a lot of items if Happy gives them the time, but Frenzy is ready and so are destroyers. And level three and two is here. It's the un it could be the undead levels. Oh, coil. Steals it, right? The big level seven turtle. Nice snipe. The hex went to the lich because that projectile, of course, can't be dodged or anything. They couldn't outscale it. Big snipe. Lin is not ready. Hiding behind the forest. You can't... You can't hex two targets at the same time. And Dark Ranger third. TC, SH, Blade Master, all levels rather weak. Lin scales like crazy into the late game. And Happy pulls back a little bit. Gets perfect information, of course, with the scout. I'm really curious what this gargoyle is about. Another engagement here. Only one statue on the ground, but full mana, big potions. You don't want to give Happy all the consumables. But Lin is rather weak right now. Trying to bait. Perfect assessment. Pulling back a little bit. Turtle's still there. How do you fight without a single level 2 spell? Nuke on the Shadow Hunter. Retreat. Spirit Link applied as well. There's only one destroyer. You can't dispel everything. Kodo, I think, has eaten. Yep, one ghoul is down. But the destroyers are amazing against the walkers. Who are supposed to be the killers of the ghouls. But you can't just revive them as the master training is already done. That is incredibly fast. Shadowhunter is here with yet another heal wave, yet another save, and a lot of damage on these walkers that can be revived. Ethereal form, all right, doesn't really do too much. Rate of falling as well. Statue morphed immediately. Are destroyers not the counter to everything, though? 
We're running out of walkers, and then you can't. Oh, oh, oh Shadow Hunter goes down. No mana anymore. Too much damage. And happy in this fight. He was just way more ready. Blade is back. Lich gets a potion though. TC had aura, no storm. Not enough control and not enough damage on this blade at all. 46 food. There is one more coil ready. Needs it ASAP. What's he want to use it on? Nuke or not? Raider playing with his life. Lin's supply is looking solid though. Not great, but solid. That Shadowhunter kill, obviously the moment of the game thus far. And Happy Without Mana doesn't want to fight. In the Blade Master Roam, he got finally a little bit of damage. It's like plus 8, plus the Kodo aura. It's like plus 12-ish. Three Kodos. Ghoul block, careful. Kodo's here to the rescue, but it's the second kill. And again, only a level one kill. But it's all about levels. Four, three, two, another coil, the heal wave. Again, too late. Just a tiny little bit. The nukes are arriving like crazy. This is already a little bit of a Hail Mary, isn't it? Blade Master has no potion at the first map was interesting strategically but it didn't come together happy takes the w just with fights relatively straightforward from happy side so many code i think it comes down to heroes pretty much exclusively if there's better items better levels lin can take this fight relatively easy the idea seems solid. He was very heavy on Kodos. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan. Same for not having Stomp. If the TC has Stomp, it's also a whole different fight. But the Blade was underleveled, under-equipped. And the Shadowhunter can't die. Happy's adjustments. The Creep Route, I guess. Green, 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 as fast as possible. Um, investing so much mana, all right. But Lin didn't get enough last hits, I think. And contesting this early instead of creeping himself, he did get some levels. But too late. He did get some cams, like the shop. Both so the shops were his. If he gets Claws plus 8 there, so be Mask, whatever, that can work. But no, it didn't. Turtle Rock to Happy, relatively one-sided affair. Northern Isles, Lin's home turf. Can he play the same strategy here again? Is the question. And I think Lin... Has to go for more uh, dusts. I think you have to implement dusts now against Happy these days to uh, just reveal the shades. It's too much knowledge. Knowledge is power. You know it. Northern Isles, Orc home turf. Can again play both. Good to see that Lin is coming prepared with uh, new twists. Hopefully it works out down the road, because it looks like this can be powerful. Happy also did not go for his classic push into the base, and maybe Lin's mistake was to fight out in the open. He was caught there as well, it's like between a rock and a hard place, right? If you allow Happy that position, he gets the second big consumable, and then he's ultra strong in that fight. But the base was prepared. There were spikes and a tower that would have been a better position, but... There we go. If you like what we're doing, by the way, feel free to leave us a like on this channel, here on Twitch, on YouTube, on the socials, of course. Every interaction with our content helps the channel, whether that's a thumbs up, whether that's a comment, anything. 
because the algorithm works in a way that the more you interact with it, the more it gets recommended. You did that for the Bat Boom Grand Final, and that got three times the viewers that we usually get. So your, your clicks have a big impact on the reach of our content. Lin might be onto something there. And Happy will pretty much play the same every single game, right? It's gonna be Grunt, it's gonna be Destroyers, it's gonna be mostly the same Tri-Hero combo. The biggest asset in the long series on a lot of maps should be Lin's versatility. At least I hope so. This was one of the weaker happy tournaments, to be honest. Losing to Sock, dropping maps to Focus, dropping maps to Fly twice, almost getting eliminated by Kaho. Just in, and of course losing the series to four, losing one series to Fortitude. That was quite outstanding. Waiting for the next match to start. It's not up yet. Two and two afterwards. Tonight also. FFA night. So busy, busy, busy day here on Easter Monday. Did you have a good time with family? With yourself? Just chilling a little bit? Did you eat a lot of eggs? It's a little worrying that Lin was only able to win one map this year. against Happy. It is time now. Ay ay ay, constant studying. That's rough. If everyone else was in the final, what a great tournament for him. Got like playing Happy in the final with a few maps dropped. Pretty weak performance. He lost two series, man. When did Happy ever lose two series? In one tournament. You get my point. I think it's a fair point to say. The others are getting better. Happy didn't play perfect. That has been established relatively early on, I think. All right, wondering if there's some technical issues. Let's check Infi's stream to get a little update. All righty. On Infi's stream, it has been confirmed the game will be starting very, very soon. Thank you very much for the stream and making Warcraft alive. Thank you for watching. Without the viewers, I had no right to be here. Can JP kill if revealed? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Dust. I think you have to go Dust against Happy. Like, if he has this high of a priority, and Lin saw that there was the sacrificial pit early on, he knew that there's a shade somewhere. Seriously curious if that gargoyle that Happy built served a purpose? Or if he seriously thought that mass air is coming? With these fights, like specifically the fights that we just saw on Turtle Rock, instead of three Kodos, could you build two Kodos, two Bad Riders? Isn't that just straight up better at the early stages of the fights? I 
I don't know if some expert orcs can educate me. I think orc programmers sometimes undervalue the usage of bad writers early and overvalue the bad writers late. But we'll see about that. Map number two. Happy 1 0 up! And Lin again, no early barracks. Shop far in the back. I like that orcs are starting to build the shop in the back. Sack pit is 75 gold, 150 lumber, so cheap. Well, you gotta build it at a moment where you want slaughterhouse and the tech and a hero. This is very, very heavy in lumber. Plus, of course, you need the acolyte as well. I feel like you make it like chat makes it look like super one-sided if this is over already. Happy was 2-0 up twice in this tournament and he was then brought to game 5. That tells us the first map is oftentimes not really an indicator. And it is a blade master again. This map Oftentimes doesn't look like it, but you can create crazy blade masters here. Like bonkers plus 40 blade masters if you're lucky. And of course efficient on the map. It is the same strategy. Happy knows. So what are the adjustments? If there's one person to know it's certainly Lin. It feels like he's taking it's it's very different in what it is, but it's a little bit like one to zero plays against Happy as well with a harass that cannot really accomplish much like this. The coil will always out damage the backstab. But draining mana early. That's the goal. And if you get a last hit here and there, sweet. If you get some damage in, sweet. Ooh, DK got it again. Zero XP versus level two. With green spot gone, this didn't work out as planned. But there's more creep check opportunities. Lin with the crazy fast tech. Happy tacking on 23, which is a very standard. Late master with the cloak hiding in the shadows without using mana. Nice little adjustment, or not adjustment really. Nice little enhancement of invisibility. Good for clarity. Need some last hits at least. Or big damage. Happy knows that the Blade Master is here and Lin undershoots a little. Didn't get this either. Three out of three for Happy. And there was a Wand of Illusion. Not much. Not much going in favor of Lin this game. Two point three. Not the crispest blade master last hits, but Happy is playing well against it. Obviously, you know that Happy is gonna play better against it. So Lin, what went wrong? Even with very little coils, right? DK almost full mana, and Happy at the moment can do whatever he wants. It's once again Raider, Walker, Shadow Hunter. Similar to what we've seen before. Actually, the Blade Master lost a lot more mana. Than Happy did. And the coil perfectly in time. Ooh, so far, it's not good. But this. This had to be part of Lin's calculation. Okay, here we go. Number one, that prevents level three for a bit. Blade Master's still here. Saves the Wind Walk for later. And this creep has been pretty disruptive. The first one at the green didn't really work. This one at the orange absolutely did. Calling offensively now. 
Okay, get out of my front yard. Shadowhunter out, Raider Walker. Whoa, Wyvern! I like that addition, actually. You are behind in creeping. Speed it up with Wyvern. And it's not level 2 coil. Can't punish that hard. Still, early game goes to happy. Like, there's no doubt about it. This time, we do not see a shade. And this is something we've seen before. Pick up the big creep. Hex manipulate it far away from your opponent. Look at the Magi. More mana available now. We've seen this on Turtle Rock, we've seen this here. The big objective in the middle of the map on the left hand side is gone. Happy creeping up for an expansion creep. Again, Thorns upgrade. It's the same build that on Turtle Rock so far. Except that we have a Wyvern. How many though? Spirit Link amplifies the survivability of Wyvern by a lot. And that is usually the worst asset. Being so easily coil no variable. Sackpit on the way. This time, different order. In the juicy middle. Both go to Lin. Not the items that he would love to see. Ankh. Hmm. Rope. Kinda nice, but you want damage. Damage, 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 damage. Happy with attack upgrades. Dispel upgrade. He wants the Master Walkers again. That is expensive. Very expensive. And once again, we're cracking 3,000 viewers. That is pretty damn amazing for map number two. Lin is pretty unlucky with the drops. He doesn't seem too comfortable. Oh, wow. Three Burrows. That's an adjustment. Adjustment. Three burrows next to next to the tower. Not only two. Yeah, Happy can't push into the space. It's impossible. And finally, we get the first clause. Plus eight. Not bad. Voila! Thank you very much for the eight-month resub. If you guys... Since it's a new month, if you guys have any Amazon Primes lying around, we gladly take it. Be the prime Easter bunny for me. Once again a gargoyle, this time more reasonable as we have seen a wyvern before. Ooh, Shadow Hunter in trouble. He sold the Ankh. Again, Lin is under leveled. No level 3 for the second time this series. But also no level 2 Lich. Can he hex, nuke something? Not really. Pure engagement once again with our... Oh, this time we have Stomp. That's a lot better, but he can't find the connection really. Now he does. Triple Stomp on the heroes. But just a little exclamation mark. Another adjustment is no Raiders. The crowd control is coming from the TC. Not the Raiders going for the DR. Oh, crit. Forces a coil, but that's about it. A lot more damage. Than on the Turtle Rock game. Still not enough to really threaten Happy. 50 foot. Closing in on both sides. There we go. Second Kodo. Third Kodo. And this is the moment that I'm talking about. Like, isn't it... it wouldn't Bad Riders be amazing now? Without armor upgrades. Lynn cornered. But the big objectives are gone. Stats user doing a wonderful job, obviously. Lynn, everything around his base is crap. Ok, 
Okay, Blade Master feels confident, at least to a degree. It's only... Oh, potion? Not yet. Wants to save it for later. Kodo's not devouring just yet. Can they get an easy snack to supply? Not really. Happy breaking upkeep. Big Nottle. Thank you for the sub. There we go. Ghouls. Oh, trying to take out Kodo. Almost surrounded. Heal wave is ready, but only level one. Kodo survives, actually. Gargoyle catches a lot of fire, but two destroyers up in the air. Should be able to deal with the Wyvern. That is a solid damage mitigation. Blade Master with Ore Purge. Almost another save. Ghouls are coming from the left-hand side, trying to cover the retreat. It's all about the Blade Master. Finally level three. He didn't skill the crit yet. Doesn't need it for the statue. Happy... Losing a lot more than before. The adjustments are working. And now Happy sees that there's three burrows and the tower. No chance to fight into this. Better fight. Way better fight than on Turtle Rock. Crit level two. Wonderful. Level two heal wave as well. It's a whole different game. And there's a lot of items still up for grabs. Happy knows he has the time for the red spot. The shade? At this stage of the game doesn't provide that much anymore. Happy would probably still have vision. Just due to the Kodos most of the time. But of course the shade is more reliable and more flexible. Ooh, solo creeping the TC to three. I love this. Cloak of Flames as well. An amazing find versus ghouls. If Happy continues with ghouls. That's a big if. But it's 10 damage per second per target. Dark Ranger also three. This is the item that Lin wanted to have. The claws plus 12. Damage on Happy is fantastic. Claws and double gloves on the Lich. The Lich makes the Blade Master a bit jealous. Heal scroll in the potion. And happy with the temple. Curse against the Blade Master always good. And this is level 3 now. Is this all you need, Lin? 650 gold. A claw from the market. More damage. Slippers as well. The supply is neck and neck. Is this the second map? Expansion bottom right. Aye. Luke, thank you for the prime. Next fight coming in. TC. Silence has an invo potion. Saves it for now. Kodo Bees. Ignored. And there's a chance to save it. Backline attack. Kodo slaughtered with Frostmorn. And the Destro survives. The first fight I would give to Lin. Second fight I would give to Happy, especially since he's the one expanding. But there's 600 gold. Maybe a tiny. Very defensive game by Lin now. There's no crazy important levels. There's no objectives on the map anymore. It's all about armies and fighting now. Map is empty. 4-3-3 against 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Instead of going for a tiny great hall, we have more consumables. Mana potions. Heal potion in Volm. Is Lin still banking? It's a bit more efficient right now. And expo timing... Could be very similar if he is indeed going for the tiny. Late Master sees it. It's only a shop on the left hand side. Happy saw the army. Lin has a thousand gold. Lin can't fight right now. What's he waiting for? Expo plans cancelled. Could move to the north, but Happy is not giving him the time. 
This defensive setup has to work. 1300 gold. Oh, then so, so careful. So greedy. Is this Blade Master damage enough? It's not extraordinary, plus 15. And does Lin know about the expo? He sh should have an idea. The way Happy plays this. Good strategic thinking by Happy. He has all... He had like three minutes now for that bottom right expo. 70 food. Lin is breaking. Tiny great hall. But where to go? North or east? Ooh, this is a lot of a lot of gold that doesn't do much. Happy occupies the gold mine. Lin has to scare him away first before that second base starts mining. And Happy knows. The chair isn't shaking yet. Happy is not fully activated, but ghouls are coming. This army is scary. Oh, there's so much time. So much time, bot. This is 600 gold just in an inventory. We don't have any upgrades on Banshee, so no possession. But this is the moment where Lin wants to break free. TC can find a very good connection. Raiders are in the mix as well. No curse on the Blade Master yet, this spell. Can he deal with the ghouls? So far it's looking fine. Headhunter's in the mix too. Heal scroll on happy side. Uh oh, Lin, you need some big kills. Now the Blade Master has curse. Stomp into the middle of it all, trying to get rid of the bash, but it's so many. The Dark Ranger is getting kill after kill. Skeletons dispelled. Stomp again. But that Blade Master damage is a little underwhelming is it not all that curse he's not dispelling it the walkers are seemingly gone happy with the huge supply lead hail mary on that lich is not focusing it with the blade coil was there happy is slowly running out of mana a lot of destroyers up that's one destro that's two make it two gets intense supply all right now we're talking then finally time for the tiny and he weathers the storm back in no upkeep getting rich now can he revive these walkers? That would be crazy efficient. I don't think so. But if he can, that could be, if he, he has 90 seconds, he can get two walkers back for free. These dispels of walkers against the skeletons is a lot of damage. But how to regenerate mana on these walkers? Happy shop control, triple invul. Uh, one walker corpse is still there. I think he revived one. I'm not that sure. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, that's a unit for basically free. Could you explain the walker revive mechanic? For sure. Their master training is ancestral spirit. They can revive torrent and spirit walkers. Anything torrent except the TC. As long as the corpse are laying around... You can just revive them for mana. That's pretty much the mechanic. If the corpse disappears, you can't revive them anymore. Yeah, it's rare to see that. <laughs> Should have been explained a bit earlier. All right, stalemate. Who builds the better 80 food army? Happy full map control. 
stacked out. This inventory is amazing. Ironically, Happy is the one with the dust. Lin will be struggling with only one invul potion. Hero focus is certainly a possible play. Attack upgrade number two, armor upgrade number one. And happy with another expansion. It's a similar situation as we've seen before. This time, can Lin afford another tiny? Questionable. I'd love to see another Wyvern in the mix just for piercing damage on Destros. Especially since. Haha, <laughs> he's towering that expo! Nice! <laughs> Uh, especially with the piercing damage upgrade. And especially with Spirit Link available. It was kind of sweet. Pulled Happy back. And this is Lin's time to go out. But Happy knows. Two games in a row, full vision. He could pit stop at the shop for an invul. Doesn't want that. Double heal scroll though. Lin has to own this fight. Slightly down in supply, main bases are empty. Here we go. The TC storms are crucial. Blade Master takes out a Wyver. Now there's Curse. Ghouls are ravaging the backline. There is, of course, no chain lightning against it. Master spell the illusions again, soaking up so much. Ghouls are about to disappear here. The walker damage is crazy. Statue under attack. Crit is missed. Still gets it. Level 4. Headhunter's ghouls falling in second. Stockage at level 4. Shadowhunter in trouble. 60%. He would have loved to have that invul now. Supply number is still neck and neck. Ghouls are about to fall. TC sold the Cloak of Flames, by the way. Would have been amazing now. SH under fire. Heal wave ready out of the fight. Looks like Lin has a bit more sustain with the statues being gone. We have more mana potions. That's another stomp. So much control. Kodo also ate a little bit. Coil Nova lining up. SH saved. Sick fight so far. But Happy's reinforcements are coming in faster. And Lin can't afford to lose this fight. He has to crack that expansion. Blade Master needs to be here. SH under fire once again. Info potion with no HP. Oh my god. Heal wave as well. Closing in on five. Destroyers that give a lot of XP. Is it enough though? He still doesn't kill it. Walker down. Cannot revive. Has no mana. Ghoul chasing. Dark Ranger chasing. Lin turned this fight around. Level five on the blade. Level three on the crit. 276. And what's stopping Lin now? Warchief marching forward. And there is here for more control. Ooh, the statue is back though. That's scary. Dark Ranger, a little bit in the surround here. Shadow Hunter has no healing anymore. Level 5 on the DK. The statue is a heaven sent gift for Lin. Happy. And that fight is over. Lin has a supply lead. Happy has the economy lead. Levels are getting crazy. TC also close to 5. Ooh, this was scary. The crits are insane. What a fight! Worthy of a grand final. Lin needs time, but does he have it? Lin needs mana. Taking out Acolytes. He knows Happy has no TP. It's a long way from the top. But also, no TP, no speed scroll here. Lin willing to take the fight. He has to, but is he ready? The inventory is not looking nearly as good as before. Still triple invul on Happy. Has to play a little bit of a lame game now. Coil Nova not strong enough to really threaten that blade. Three destroyers. 
Happy is pulling ahead in supply, obviously being upper base. But Fly was able to win a 50 versus 90 supply food. Items were a lot crazier though. TC. Can he get TC5? That makes a huge difference. Oh, there we go! Destroyers are using their mana. They fall off heavily. How much less damage is a destroyer without orb? I'm pretty sure it's like 50%. It takes away the AoE. Like that alone is nuts. Lich, Stomp, but obviously there is a coil ready. DK diving deep, anti-magic used, interesting. Stomp on pretty much the entire ghoul army. Shadowhunter a little far forward. Curse after curse after curse. These misses are nuts, but so are the dispels. Blade Master Lynch! Hex on him! He did! The damage dealer is gone, the orb is gone. Happy aiming for another counter kill. Coil is ready. Wants that Blade Master, but he healthy. Mana potion on the TC. Shadowhunter ah, next to the DK. Willing to trade. No TP. Happy be trying to fight out. Here's the stop. Needs these crits. Needs to close this around. He does it. Can he fight out? No way. DK gone. The aura is gone. Blade Master level six. Oh my god. Lin willing to take the trade. The lightning orb. If they proc, it's a guaranteed kill. Ooh, two heroes down. Happy's rich though. He can bring them back. Split attack by Lin. Army to the bottom right expo. Blade has Blade Storm, no mana. How much damage can he do? Happy still willing to fight. This army is tiny. Very little curse as well. DK is back, but no coil. Lin's prioritization, statues, banshees, then heroes. Leaves the Dark Ranger there. Could have killed her probably, but without Hex, it's a bit rougher. Lin still income. Happy kind of double income, but Acolytes fell as well. Shadow onto 50 seconds. Lin's fighting army isn't that great. But the blade absolutely is. Using a lot of wind walk. Double tavern revive. Shadowhunter isn't here just yet. Stomp wants the Destro. Full mana destroyer is gone. Oh, that's so much value. But the Lich is back. Blade Master got no healing. Stomp. Coil is ready. Didn't catch him here. 260. Invo potion. This time it's available. How do you save that blade? Also with an invo potion. Trying to out endure. The seven seconds, radars here, TC as well. 308 destroyers falling. This must be the end. 20 foot down. And the SH is back. Three hero kills for Lin. That massive destroyer kill as well. And the TC cannot die. He cannot die anymore. GG! 5Gs! 5Gs by Happy! Second time in 2024 that Lin is the winner of a map against Happy. Yep. We have ourselves a grand final, everybody. This is what everybody came here to see. Exactly that. Incredible late game. Decision making by Lin pretty much on point. There were some flaws here and there, but let's focus on the posies. Not feeling crazy threatened by the second expansion from Happy. Not storming blindly. Also, not intimidated by triple invul potions. Still going for hero focus. Absolutely fantastic. And these adjustments from Turtle Rock, from Lin, are working out. Goody Swee with the five gifted sub bomb. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Celebrate the war chief. The adjustments worked. 
The Wyvern worked for creeping, so levels in general were better. Stomp added an absurd amount of, of catch against the ghouls compared to the early raiders that we've seen. More, thank you for the prime. And the late game. It, this Blade Master wasn't even too stacked. He was plus 15. This could have been worse, and we saw 300 crits. Stopping late game orc tri hero is nuts. Thank you, Reinabeln, for the 2 month resub. There we go. Flood me. Flood me in these subs. Oh boy, I love it. This peak Warcraft, like, call me biased, whatever. Undead versus human and undead versus orc are the best matchups because it's about the heroes because it's about the heroes two things walker dispel versus skeletons works out i still there might be even more potential to dispel curse, but it's super hard because curse is so cheap. And it's a bit of an arms race, right? Tam Goose with 25 gifted subs. High five, high five, high five. There we go, boys. Happy Easter. Sick support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shadow Hunter kill uh, saves. We've seen it before in Happy's matchup versus Fly. Sorry that I mentioned this matchup versus Fly, but it's like the direct comparison that that we can go for. Happy throws a lot of damage on the Shadow Hunter, and if you save it, you can negate all that damage in very little time. In the fight near the expo, Happy used five Coil Nova volleys at the Shadow Hunter without it dying. If three of those ended up with a kill, it's been different. Yep. Shadow Hunter must be protected at all costs. And both of these players must be protected at all costs because Warcraft 3 is so freaking beautiful. Let's go, game three. Who takes the lead? We're on Hammerfall, everybody. Noonox with the 10 euro dono. Awesome stream still. Awesome grand final. Hopefully Lin keeps it up. Hopefully, hopefully indeed. And now the ball is in Happy's Park. Lin is going through with this strat. What are the adjustments? Focus more on units? Instead of the heroes? The early game by Happy on Northern Isles was clean as a whistle. Zocky McZock with the 29 man. Thank you for the prime. You know what they say, prime is free. Throw it at me. We still have some dangerous, dangerous maps for this Blade Master, by the way. Lost Temple, Twisted. Hundred bits by Nuke Down. Thank you. Happy creeping relatively carefully, I'd say. This is hard to harass. Really curious if... Oh, actually Lin is here. 
stealing the tiny little schedule and Happy respects it. This is time bought. Lin is just waiting for the tech. Whoa, Happy. Narrow tower and creep camp abandoned. Some investments. It's half a tech ahead. This is a lot of XP and an important item, of course. You don't want to give it to Lin. Happy will play around. It's all about forcing the coil or not. Grinding a little bit on skeletons, but army is split. Lin, of course, wants to be as conservative as possible with Windwalk as well. Happy gets both Gloves of Haste. Naga with the three euros. Thanks for the awesome cast. Glad you enjoy it, brother. Or sister, or whatever. Okay, this is where Happy takes control again with this number of ghouls when the tech is running and he doesn't need the lumber income anymore. Totally fair by Lin to take a step back to heal up a little bit. This is another windwalk. Every steal, every delay of level 3 is a win. You don't need to get that much stuff. Hype train at level 7.4. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, you guys. <laughs> Tier 3 SH Raider or uh, Beastery and Walkers. Walkers are back, everybody. For a long, 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 long time, they were benched. Or a nice to have late game adjustment. Again, good kill. For happy, but no level 3. And this is fine. I think it's more about time here than about levels and numbers. Well, time is a number, I guess. But that happy had to go for the narrow, that happy had to go f and retreat. That's the win for Lin. A small one, a tiny one. But whatever disrupts happy is good for you. One more time, slaughterhouse into tier 3 tech. Not as crazy as Turtle Rock, where it was shade. And again, it's the same build as Northern Isles Fallen. Like, exactly to the dot. When is it time to step back and level? Couldn't prevent this level 3 DK. And on this map, like on the first map, Lin pulled the Ogre Magi, Lin pulled the Null Overseer. What can you pull here? Wait, he is level 2 already. He did something. What'd he do? What did we miss? We missed something. Otherwise, the Shadow Hunter wouldn't be level 2. The crap? Ah, I see. Thanks, chat. Thanks, chat. Based. Okay, so more confidence, moving to the middle, big consumables. Yeah, Lin ad is advancing this creeping game quite a bit. The heal potion always nice, as we've seen crazy focus fire on the heroes. How 
how well can it just tap me now to this strat? Because I really think like map one wasn't necessarily as happy as win, was kind of Lin's loss. Oh, this lasted skeleton. Oh my god, he does it again. I kind of missed that. Sorry about that. Happy skeleton steals, man. Incredible. But the middle... Middle is shared. Lin, the damage numbers won't be that crazy, but the Blade Master is a tanky, tanky beast. Ring of Region, amazing when he goes roaming. And a lot of rings. Happy with a super fast expo. Ooh, this has to be scouted. Blade Master can do something about it relatively quickly. And the shade, of course, sees the movement. Dark Ranger out. He's rushing home. Ooh, expansion is only at one third. I wonder if the TC is part of the army. No, he's not. Too slow. Now a Garg would be amazing, but this game Happy didn't go for one. And more creeping. SH3. DPS, I think. Still very good on the Blade Master. Plus plus eight, amazing item. How much damage can the wyvern do? Stomp first again. It's just very little. Gives up on the haunted, focuses on towers. Lin knows he has to act at some point. Whether that's a tiny great hole counter expansion or a push towards the north. This could change the dynamic quite a bit. Lin can't be as greedy as he was before. Where he was banking 1300 gold and no upkeep. Because Happy is breaking. Very defensive play now. It seems like Lin's game plan is just a simple counter attack, uh, counter expo. Damage is nuts. Ooh, the DPS is crazy. Windwalk level 2 this game, by the way. So for the first big fight, you'd love to have it on level 4. The Blade Master, that is. 4-3-1. TC has no aura yet. Silence just a tiny bit too late, but we do have one of the wind. Not enough. Is there enough burst? Is there enough burst? No, there's not. Yeah, we didn't cancel the ziggurat. A couple of resources lost. Lin still ate. Oh, what's the one with the wind cooldown off? What's the cooldown? Is there a cooldown on the one of the wind? I don't even know. Then he could have gotten him. 
Okay. We have a big fight here. Blade Master under fire. Got a potion. Heal scroll. Shadow Hunter should be there, but it's silence at the moment. TC getting a solid connection. Destroyer up and healed. Kodo. If Lin steps a bit back, that burrow can help. He's trying to. Tower is coming up as well. Oh, there's no consumables anymore. Happy might just be taking it. The Blade Master needs to carry, but the destroyers in the air are crazy. Heal wave anticipates the nuke. Shadow Hunter again out of the fight, but still alive. And Happy. He is running out of mana here. Oh, Zeppelin save. Gorgeous. The presence of mind. But the tower is gone. No counter expo. And Lin was forced to use units. To build units. <sighs> Tiny coming. Almost two minutes of mining, but also mining and upkeep. Always a little dent into the second base. Blade Master's crawling slowly towards level two crit. Lin's army is not ready to fight yet. The levels aren't there. Hard to push into this position, right? Kinda narrow. TC will be waiting with open arms for these ghouls. You could probably create a safe space for walkers. We still have the Scroll of the Beast. We still have a Book of the Dead that Happy is not selling, interestingly. But the supply gap is kind of massive. This expo didn't pay off yet. It's not even fully mining. Lin needs an outstanding hold. With Burrow Fortification and... With the tower. He's in damage pretty good against what Happy has. And he's backing off. One Burrow, one tower is enough to make him back off. Time for Lin. Time is what he needs. And creeps, but happy. Wow. <laughs> Super fast third base. And not allowing Lin to build anymore. There is no tower in the main. Lin is set up for defending at home. If this Bolo falls, he's not supply blocked, by the way. Nuke on the walker. Doesn't lead to a kill again. TC... Stop some movement. Now gets the Raider, but there was a lot of damage thrown. Statue far up front. Blade Master out of the fight, though. TC kind of surrounded. Walker damage should be crazy on the ground, though. Ancestral Spirit. Walker is back. Walker is back. Happy has to get out. And Lin saves the Raider. For a 20 fight ahead food. That was pretty solid, but was also just distraction. Lin needs to build an army, and Lin needs to build levels, both at the same time, when the map is kinda empty, and he also has to shut down that third base. Lin saves are really good. And it's five destroyers, four of them without mana. This is a bit dead supply. Wyvern getting envenomed spears. Happy. I don't want to say he's banging his head against the wall because it's clearly just a distraction. But the mana is ticking down. Three bases happy. He. Wasn't able to establish that on Northern Isles for a long time. Pushing into this is kind of crazy. Mm. 
more production buildings, more... Oh, actually gargoyles. Gargoyles and statues. Heavy, heavy, heavy air. No armor upgrade yet. It feels like this is a dream matchup for bats. Lin is struggling with the TC levels. And the last spot of the map goes to Happy. Might be a creep jack. He can easily afford it. It's all about the experience. Denying the experience. Lin doesn't even want to take the fight. Rather step back. Shop control. Double heal scroll mana potion. Invuln. Invulns are... Kinda on the lower side. But it's still available. Happy has a thousand gold as well. That third base might break the neck. I feel like level two Windwalk was a mistake. Carefully trying to force a fight in a favorable position, but Happy is not allowing this. It's part of their matches. These standoffs. Extremely important to make the right decisions. Okay, here we go. Bad! No! Oh, gets the connection! Okay! One Destro down, the second one barely alive! Here's the second one, okay! Ten food down, Kodos kinda saved, but the Headhunters, that's the problem! Why we're not part of the fight only now? Would love to see more bats, but it's, on, it's already an armor upgrade. Ancestral Spirit used, Happy willing to TP out, the supply is even, and another Destro down! It's level 3 TC! Wyvern have crazy damage! I feel like it's the right call. They are the more efficient unit compared to bats because they don't die when they attack. And with Spirit Link they do survive as well. A mix is probably the best, but if you are calling for, for just bats right now, you might underestimate the damage of the poison upgrade. Happy high upkeep. Destroyers remain a liability. This last fight gave Lin level 2 Critical Strike and level 2 Stomp. And Lin is expanding for the third time. Oh, can he not place it because of the shade? Yep, he's going to the lab. He has to reveal. He has no gold for the reveal. That's annoying! Okay, got it now. Lin's second tiny. This time, no burrow, no tower. Lin's army control seems very good. We see a zeppelin. That adds so much controllability and utility into this army. Huge fight! Walker down, can of course be revived. Garks are falling. Not the craziest connection yet against the Garks. I would love to see. Oh my god, he's annihilating the Wyvern. First priority Wyvern instantly. But on the ground, what's happening there? Happy is far, far, far ahead. So many kills. The high upkeep. He wasn't shy of going for it. It's down to the heroes now. Orc heroes gotta save this. And a lot of ghouls are falling. Zeppelin about to drop. Garks a bit out of the fight. Shadowhunter, can he save himself this time? Heal wave, he can't! Silence! 
Vince, shut up, SH! And he dies without that support hero. Lin doesn't have a chance, really. He needs to get a gigantic kill, but everything is so healthy. Ghouls on the ground, still wrecking the headhunters. TC saved four now. Happy is losing a lot with the help of the tower. Might. Okay, no, he's not surviving. That TC. Speed scroll away, but he's out of the fight. There is mana for a coil. Obviously, without Hex Stomp, you can't really prevent that. I wonder if Happy is a bit overcommitting here. Or if it's the right call. Blade! No item on him either! He <laughs> the saves on Lin are outstanding. The fact that Lin's still alive is incredible. But it might just be it from here. Blade is gonna be revealed. He dead and no way to revive him. GG, Emperor takes the lead once again. Map control. Key is map control. Taking the levels away, taking some items away. And greedy expos. Greedy, 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 greedy expos. Super fast. And with that, he takes Hammerfall. That was Happy's first loser's map, though. And it was close. A sign of a good series. The f especially in a best of five. The first loser's map should be the map where you have the biggest advantage. This was winnable. It went a lot into Happy's favor, but... It, it wasn't a stop. Happy is reacting with expansion because he knows that Lin's build is slow. He has time. And he couldn't really connect. If the Wyvern arrives in the north a bit earlier, maybe he can kill it? At some point. Happy once again threw the kitchen sink on the Shadow Hunter, but Im important change, I think, in the last fight, just annihilate these Wyvern. Leon, thank you very much for the raid, mate. Hope you had a good time. Wait. Isn't it your birthday today? Isn't it? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday German champion Leon, happy birthday to you. 32. 32 years of awesomeness. Beautiful. I tried my best. I tried my best. You wonderful soul, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. As we are having a wonderful day here with the grand final, that's Happy versus Lin. How can you not have a wonderful day? Happy winning map one and three, but Lin with new strategies is ready to fight. Can he tie up the series? Or was Northern Isles just one out? Lin upper right hand side. If he loses now, I can clearly see him lose the momentum and falter. He's not a comeback kid, really. He's living on momentum and he has to know that his builds are working. And I think the first games showed that they are. But Happy's making adjustments on the fly. And we are on Echo Isles. Echo Isles, guys, I don't know if you know this. But on Echo Alts, you can find a lot of claws. And that helps the Blade Master. And it should also be incredibly hard for Happy to get a third base, right?
I mean, it's up there at the top. But it's an easy scout. A lot about creeping, obviously. Happy sees it's no variation. It's the same early game that we've seen before. Happy trying to preserve mana and HP. Lin trying to gobble up item and force these coils. First item, bring of protection, kinda nice to have. Oh, Acolyte. Whoa, investing a Windwalk, because he's so scared of an Echo. Now he's punishing him for that. The highest leveled blade we've seen in all three early games so far, right? Both scouts dead. But only 1.8 thus far. Is Happy seeing flaws in his early game? Is there a way to adjust it? He's maneuvering more efficiently. Uh, more, more offensively, sorry. And of course, that's level two now. This is a very, very weak spot in Lin's build. Happy knows it. is taking creep spots away because XP on this map is very limited. Late Master didn't get the item. That was a claw. One out of maybe many. Not fast enough. King obviously equalized between the two. No advantage there. It's about precision. Was that enough? Is it enough to drain almost all coils? And Lin, where does your shadow hunter start creeping? Ooh, okay. Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought it's I thought it's double racks, it's not. That would have been started way earlier. Sorry, brain fart. No ooh here. Grinding a bit of XP. With skeletons, but that's about it. Really curious where the Shadowhunter is going now. It's still a bit late. Lots of um, resources used now on Lin. All the lumber he had used. SH, double production and tech. Similar to Happy Now. And we all know that this is just the calm before the storm. Last hit lit! Everything here is delaying level 3. Every tiny chop. But there's no mana anymore, you gotta be careful. Oh, Shadowhunter going to the Magi! Ooh, sneaky! He's being attacked by two of the Maulers though. Happy did not figure this out really, eh? Or at least he... Oh, did he? Did he? Because he is rushing towards the middle. Oh, that can be punished so hard. You did this four times in a row now. And the coil can get the last hit. This could turn out to be a disaster for Lin. Finally, Happy punishes the early creep. But he has to fight against Hex. It's not that easy. Ghoul falling. Happy doesn't have a coil right now. Hex against it. And Lin gets what he wants. And it's another big healing. And that was a bit odd, wasn't it? To coil the SH. But he probably knew that there was a Hex against him anyway. 
and then he couldn't use it. Saved! Saved! But it's a sign for the rest of the series that Happy knows what's up once the Shadow Hunter is out. How often can he do that? And Lin reaches tier 3 without being punished too hard. Blade Master bought a lot of time. And now it's time to level. I'd really love to see level 2 crit. It seems to be essential in the fight. And Windwalk level 2, I know duration on Windwalk is sweet. But Happy will be looking for a fight early. Because the later the game goes, the better it is for Lin. Especially on a map where you can't expand a lot of times. Shade is coming for happy standards relatively late. And man, wow, I just see it now. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out, Chad. For an Echo Isles game, Lin's items are abysmal. It's so weak. He got nothing. He got consumables. He got triple speed scroll, which is so rare to see. And expensive. But now he's stacking up. Ring of the Archmagi. Lovely. Level 3. And he's going Windwalk 2 again. Sick snipe. This is usually not where you are. This is evasion creeping. Giving up e efficiency, like XP per second for safety. And Happy is only going for this null. No TP, of course. So if Happy strikes now, Lin is on the opposite. Oh, there is a TP. There is a TP, actually. Sorry. And another one. Ring of Region on the cow. But Happy kind of knows what kind of game this is now. And plays the same. Oh, <laughs> that DK is so tacky. Triple ring and evasion. Lin would love to have one ring as well. Four rings. Oh my god. There must be a lot of items available in the marketplace now. Trying to take Happy off the map, ideally force a TP, but everybody knows that Happy is rarely going for a TP. What can Lin accomplish here? Freedom, I guess. He's probably hoping that Happy didn't creep too much on the right-hand side and that can he now Get all that XP! Kodo 9 HP! Lucky, lucky. There's several people in chat who are constantly baiting balance wine and I want to let you know that you're in danger right now. Nice blade master play here. Gets the acolyte first. This must be a cancel. So happy can either contest the bottom right. Or give the export. No TP on Lin. Dangerous, very dangerous. 
speed scroll is not good. We do have the bats up. Touch him with the main. Exactly. And now the Blade Master is here. That Windwalk 2 was nice. Level 2 is up. That is Aura. But is this army strong enough? Kodo being nuked immediately. Heal wave up. Level 2 is sweet. Blade Master damage good. Aiming only for the Lich. Trying to get the Invo Potion out and bait some coils. Level 4 here. Shadow Hunter. No mana. Lin. How can you escape the situation? Shadow Hunter dies. Oh no. This army by Lin is abysmal. Happy smashing that fight. Making the right call to jump on the Orc army on the right hand side. Expand later. Ooh, Lin was too bruised. Lin wasn't ready. And there's more coils. There's so many more coils. Invo potion on the lich, of course, is a necessity. Lin was also rich, though. Shadow Hunter benched for 90 seconds. Oh, the happy undead avalanche. It's looking great. It's looking real great. Kodos back into the main. A destroyer kill would be grand, but what can you do? Is there a shade? Yeah, there is. Blade Master is exposed. He's also silenced. Happy about to let the guillotine snap here. He doesn't have to commit into the base. There's so many towers, so much piercing damage. It's just about expansions. Thank you, Lou Awesome, for the seven month resub. Pipe, pipe, pipe! Sick creep jack! Sick creep jack! Of course, enabled by the shades. And uh, Kodos. With Devour. Happy's levels are getting crazy. Happy's inventory is crazy. This game did not work out the way Lin wanted it to. Um. I don't know guys, I'm still very unimpressed with Windwalk 2. Two bases, 16 food up. Empty map. Shade is here. Happy is close. But without the heroes, it's only Dark Ranger and Army. So the turtle will go to Lin. Still fighting, not giving up. We've seen series where Lin was less inspired. He's still trying to brute force this build. Ooh, Happy wants to fight now. Telly Steph on the blade. Love to see it. He has to go home. Ooh, sick this spell on four to five units. No spirit link anymore. TC trying to buy time first. Heal wave pop. Shadow Hunter very, very low on mana, and the Kodo goes down regardless. This destroyer army feels untouchable at the moment. He bought a TC, a TP for the TC. And with that, he has to get out. That's more resources drained. 325 gone at least. He can save the army this time. Lin is fighting from behind. In this late game. He's slowing down Happy's Expo. It's annoying. But he's not threatening him really. Tiny Great Hole must be around the corner. Cannot allow Happy to mine that much more. But then the army is still very small. Where can you find time, space, and economy damage?
If Happy wins this map, he claims match points. And Lin has to win three in a row. He did it before. But it's so hard. We still have Lost Temple, Twisted Meadows, and another map. Concealed. Keeping happy a lot of time. 30 food difference. Happy can decide when to end the game. He's <laughs> trying to bank as much as possible. But he doesn't even have the burrows at the moment for 80 food. This will probably be bought by a tiny. Pulverize! Wait, what? There's eight ghouls? What? What's the solution against the air? He has one raider and a Kodo and a blade master. Misto, thank you very much for the sub. 87 months. Go Lin! Where do you see Pulverize? Upper right. <sighs> I'm not feeling it. No tiny, no tiny still. Happy did a fantastic job in the mid game. Creeping a lot more, getting all the items. It feels like he immediately understood what his timings are. Also feels like Lin has to be careful with Spirit Link. He can't spam it. Destroyers feast on this. And Lin didn't, well, wasn't even able to prepare the bottom right. It's all about the bottom right. Supply gap is massive. 25 food. This is unwinnable for Lin. I was about to say he could maybe sneakily expand to the north, but there's a scout running there as well. I'm sorry, but this looks unwinnable. And I, I really don't see the value of Torrent, guys. I really don't. But hey, Lin, prove me wrong, please. Shadow Hunter is exposed. No heal potion, no invul potion. Only one invul on the TC. Blade care is so close to level two crit. It's a lot of headhunters, and Torrent might be soaking up some damage. And they can be revived, of course. Shadow Hunter reposition. Ghouls are going forward. Torrent lining up for the back line. Headhunters cannot be revived, of course. Level three TC. Level four blade. The hero's got a carry, but he's just annihilating the back line. Oh my god, these ghouls being stomped now. Now Dark Ranger out of the fight, Destroyers losing mana as so often. It's closer than expected to be honest. The Destroyers are melting and the ground... Is there a chance for Lin? Lin uh, Happy has no mana no more. Blade is super healthy. No hacks at the moment. More Destroyers up, Dark Ranger maybe the next target. Lin, if 
he can't rebuild some units that be grand, but his main base is about to mine out. Three, two destroyers about to die. That's number one. Maybe even three. Ooh, crazy. Second last coil, maybe, going for statues. There's still the big potion. There's also an info potion on the TC, so it's all about the SH info. Oh, saves it. Walking on the high wire. Almost pump faking a coil right there. Destroy uh, the Blade Master got an entire level heal potion up. Level four on the TC. Dark Ranger needs a coil, but can she fight out? Questionable. Shadow Hunter out of mana. Need the crits, didn't get them! Blade out of the fight as well, the surround is still closed. Happy is fighting out and has to... Uh, Lin has to give up on the Dark Ranger. Six food. Lin needs a tiny yesterday. What the hell? Three Destros, eight Ghouls, and the statue. What a hell of a fight for Lin! Main base is empty though. He got the tiny. I exhausted my snooze button. These games are going longer. The ads will come. I can't stop them anymore, guys. Can he hold one more time? He got a mana potion. Tiny dropped. Oh, I've seen one to zero ones kill a tiny great hole while it was in production. Heal wave should be ready. Storm. Heal wave is there. Level 5 Shadow Hunter would be amazing. Gets a headhunter for basically free. But a couple of ghouls eaten as well. The destroyer numbers are melting. Walker is important though. Has a lot of mana. 200 critical strike. It's not too impressive for this to be level 3. Happy pushing forward. Was rebuilding quickly. It's only the heroes. Lin, you were fighting so bravely. Blade dies! Oh no, no heal wave anymore. It was on cooldown. That fight was enormous, but Happy was banking for too long. Was able to recover too quickly. And knocks down the army again. Ooh, man. This was the second... Hero picked by Lin and Happy wins it back to back, takes the series, and in a best of five, all you need is one more map for the championship in March. That fight was extraordinary, but Lin lost the game at the bottom right hand side when his army was exposed and Happy traded his first expansion attempt for the forced fight. And since then, Lin was just desperate. That fight can give you hope. The last one. It was 20 foot down. And still kinda smashed it without the items. But it's still three match points in a row for Happy on Twisted, on Lost Temple, and on Concealed Hill. Ah, so rough, man. Imagine a burrow or a tower on top of the already amazing fight. But yeah, after that last fight, Happy was mining the entire time. Relatively easy to recover shop control there as well. And Lin... If he had a point, like he could all in. But that also takes time to build the army and get the mana back up. Or just hope that Happy needs some time to lick his wounds. But Happy, Happy shows no mercy, man. He's just... He's just going for the throat. Twisted Meadows now. Casino Warcraft. The 40 minute epic between Happy and Fly was here. Great items for a blade. Lots of expansion opportunities for Happy and Lin must know this.
Best of seven is coming to an end, maybe. The stage is set for one of the all-time great uh, turnarounds in the series. Back to the drawing board. Of course, map to map, it's all a little different. Lin is not getting the claws that he probably needs. But yeah, we have a little bit of a break here at his running. This month we're sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is quite amazing if you don't want to get your groceries yourself and don't want to think about what to eat. It's also amazing if you want to learn how to cook, because every meal coming with some easy to follow instructions. You don't have uh, to build a whole repertoire of um, spices, etc., etc. And there's basically no waste. Everything they sent you will be used in full. So if that sounds uh, good to you, then you can save up to 120 euros for your first order if you're in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. And save up on shipping. HelloFresh, sponsoring the March and early April for Back to Warcraft. How often do you use it to cook per day? Like once per day. I really hope that Lin is not starting to be hopeless. Because there's lots of reasons to have hope. What is our... What is our judgment on the Tauren? I don't know. It soaks up a lot of damage. In theory, you can revive him. Pulverizes good versus ghouls. I can kind of see the reason behind it, but I'm not sure if it was worth the investment. There we go, guys. Match points, happy. He terrorized the scene in the last season of TP League, not dropping a series in three qualifiers, up until the grand final of the fourth qualifier. Here in March, everything is different. Dropping maps, dropping series. But here today, so far, the better player with some great adjustments and timings. Very expansion heavy. And if you look on the mini map, everybody, there is a lot of gold mines up for grabs. Happy and Fly provided us with a 45 minute classic with lots of blade storms, with crazy items. Lin has to hope for that as well. But on that map, Happy was also able to bank 5,000 gold FFA style. DK Ghouls, Blade Master Fast Tech. Cross position always. We're starting next to the mercenaries. Plenty of opportunity here for Lin. To creep and gather items. Happy confirms, same tech, same strat, same hero. Still convinced that this works. No Fossia, no Wyvern, no Lame. Could still go into Mass Headhunters, but I think the time for that is over until now. Or at least up until now. And Lin 
is going for a somewhat Echo Isle approach. He kind of set the stage so that Happy is always expecting a Blade Master to arrive, so he is using the coils. Regardless. But the Accolade Scout also give it away that there is no Blade Master rest at the moment. But so far, it's relatively uncontested. Claws for Happy, Circlet and Ring for Lin, that's plus three. Ooh. Another Coil Forced on the cost of the Clarity. Some people are suggesting watch awards. I think that's too expensive. Creeps got the scout peon. Blade is here. Oh, claws and circle, of course. Nice. I wonder in the last game if Lin couldn't have used the marketplace a bit more. Shade. Uh, cloak stolen. Heal wave cancelled. But reapplied. Should be fine. Thank you Rockefeller failed for the 14 month. Go Lin. We need more. Hell yeah. I want more. Tournament life on the line, grand final on the line, title on the line. No crazy adjustments. It can come down to execution and items. Ghouls are all hurt, but we all know how easily they heal in the main. Oh, misses. Solid movement by Lin. That's also a speed scroll invested for just another coil. It seems like it's the number one priority to drain Happy's mana. HP can be recovered on Blight always. Ooh, level three. Didn't get the last hit thanks to the coil. And now Happy got what he wanted. Not great. Not great. But we've seen it before and here on this map there's plenty of options to continue creeping. Again, Lin, as soon as the Shadow Hunter is here, going for a big creep. Happy spending a lot of time in his base. Belt, solid for a TC, but not what he wanted. Could you do that on the red spot? Not sure. But yeah, it's uh, it's becoming standard for Lin to do that now. Every single map he's done this. Lich already crazy items. That's scary. Tier 3 around the corner, Raider Walker, Tier 3, Spikes. So far this is relatively smooth for Happy I'd say. But no early expo. Lin is preparing the base for a potential push, which is 
probably not coming. It's been established now that Lin's base is a fortress. I mean, not just the main building, but <laughs> the burrows and towers on top. Ruined Bracers! Ruined Bracers on the Shadowhunter. Could that be a game-winning item? During roaming, you put it on the blade. Later in the fights, you put it on the SH. Because he's always the one who gets nuked. There we go. That would have been insane damage mitigation already, but it's on the blade. Speed scroll, trying to snipe statues. Can this work? SH is begging for Coil Nova. He's just begging for it. How can he get out? Lin, are you mad? This is suicidal, isn't it? A little bit of heal wave. Oh, that's the big mana potion. SH is dead. Avada, Kedavra. And this is not supposed to happen. It is two statues and the big mana gone. He gets a little more. Maybe the big mana potion. Crazy happy also with the sweet surround. Was that worth it? You can look up the top and see value wise. It was. But delaying the Shadow Hunter progress. It does take a lot of mana away though. The stat you regen is crazy. Imagine this exchange with the bracers or the belt on a Shadow Hunter. I feel like this was a huge oversight to not protect the Shadow Hunter better. <gasps> okay! Staff of Silence. Dispellable. We will see a lot of destroyers again, obviously. But in the right time, at the right moment, on the right target. A Staff of Silence is gigantic. Just to prevent the coil for a second. SH back. Happy. Had an Acolyte here, Blade Master at the right spot. Again, Windwalk 2. Red spot only has the scraps remaining. It feels like Glint's movement on the map gets a bit smarter. He's dodging a lot. Ring of Region on the TC. Again, Lin not finding damage. Happy coming though. Into the base. TC is hurt. Shadow Hunter only level one heal wave. Problematic situation. Still no tankiness on this hero. He's just leaving him naked. The Shadow Hunter is like the let me solo her on Lin's army. Must be on purpose at this point. And happy using this map control that he got with the Tri Hero and level 3 and the next big consumable for an expansion on the opposite side. Blade Master has a staff. The Creepjack chaos shall not happen again, but Happy is taking one spot after the next now. Merc Camp and Lab, that's would have been a gigantic jump for Happy. Blade Master finds the target. Is the damage enough though? With a couple of claws, it would be easy. It is a distraction on the lab. It's an acolyte killed, but it's a free camp for Happy. Four, three, two heroes. And the Ring of Archmagi. Happy is getting closer and closer to the grand final victory, but the expo was knocked down. But Shadowhunter TC can't move. That's scary. That is so scary. Necro is finished. You can always go for a backup. The Orc late game is based on levels. How are you supposed to get the levels? I 
and the shade gives the position away. Always and ever. Always and ever. This entire series, perfect vision. For happy. There's a TP though. Blade Mass is trying to force Happy into a retreat, but it's just not working. Still no level 3. Item is another belt. It's really unthankful, man. Really, really is. One camp for a TP. That lit. <laughs> You'd love to see this on a blade. Okay, Happy attacks the blade now. With that, Lin knows that there's a shade. He should know. He saw the pit. It feels like Happy is outclassing him a little bit here on Twisted. Army movement is superb. Expo on Lin's natural. Oozing confidence now. Lin is not ready to fight, not at all. Lin's build is a bit gimmicky. Looking for items, hoping for items. He didn't get them. And he didn't clear the entire camp. He's only going for the big one. That results in the levels. And that's Red Spot now. Yep, it's... Getting very, very, very prob problematic. Lin cannot find an opening for what, five minutes now? Okay, Lin has a supply lead. It's a different... It's a different dynamic now, because Happy was investing into two expos at the same time. Lin has the army, Happy has the heroes. That also means that Lin is paying upkeep the entire time. Oh, these levels are crazy, man. He is close to level 5 DK. No heal wave 2. He can just play... He can just play Coil Nova Artillery. Pillage. Desperation. <laughs> One heal scroll each. Double in ball, destroyer morph. There we go. Lin doesn't have the bigger army anymore. Everything is bent and bruised. These raiders will not offer much. Blade Master doesn't have crit level two. TC doesn't have stomp level two. It's about the headhunters, and they were left alone for a long time, forcing Happy into a TP before he's losing too much. Four ghouls, one Destro. But he's portaling to Lin's base to save his second. Expo and he's pushing into the main, isn't he? At least the levels are there. Again, no damage. Not a single item of damage. And for once, Lin doesn't have a tower. Happy has the craziest income. Three bases versus one. And Linus supply block. Okay, 
happy as a TP, so damage is done. So... Okay, this expo is not mining. So at least there's that. This spell is sweet, but the Blade Master is missing. Where's the staff? Decides to stick around to kill Acolytes. He has to fight without his damage dealer. The headhunter is stemming against the defeat. The walkers with the dispel stemming against the defeat. But level 5 DK. He can nuke everything in the world now. Blade Master is a pacifist. Only coming in now. Is that gonna swing the tides? Nope. Happy just getting back without that destroyer. That falls. But 1700 gold of value wiped. Is that an opportunity to clobber down the left hand side? We still have two raiders. The target is always Acolytes. Mining isn't full, it's not three full bases, but it's it's eventually half a base. Crit 2 online. Heal wave 2 online. Storm 2 online. That was a lot of XP. Oh, there's the tower. Okay. Same can be said for Lin's economy. It's obviously also bruised. And the haunted goldman on the left-hand side still standing. Happy so rich. Reveal nuke. But, as we said, not as efficient with the Rune Bracers. No Banshees in this time, but do you really need it? Lin hunting. Trying to do as much damage as possible, and he absolutely has to. Shadowhunter is there to the rescue statue falls, but there's another one for backup. What's the blade going for? XP, 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 but he's running out of mana and he has to retreat. And this doesn't change the fact that Happy has three bases. Speed scroll on the TC might be used now, should be. Oh, destroyer with mana now. Still doesn't want the fight, respects the 200 crits. But he's getting further and further ahead. With every fight. Time for Tiny? This might be the last resort. The trades are always a bit better for Lin. But does it matter? If Lin wins this game, dude. If Lin wins this game, this could change everything. But he's out of gold and he has one chance of a tiny Great Hall. Giving up his main. Happy scouting up a right. You gotta have income somewhere. You don't? All right, shop gone. <gasps> Tiny last second. <laughs> Tournament life on the line. Lin lives! Lin lives! How many peons can actually survive? Because he can't rebuild them. And a lot of them are going to fall. Blade is here. I'm willing to say to the rescue, but engaging into this position with all the buildings is going to be so hard. Lin Sane Sword, we need it now. 
Happy has the TP, trying to force it. Silence ready. Staff of Silence, by the way, dispelled. I mean, it's a low eco game. Why not? He's trying to connect. He does now, but Astro. Okay, level 4 TC. Movement speed always appreciated on big maps like this. Ghoul run by, of course. These are the last peons. Lin taps out. He was able to take a map, but no. In the end, this guy is once again on top of the Warcraft world. Just like in TP League Grand Finals, just like in Rara Land, so is it in March. Lin not as dominant as he was with the rest of the winner bracket. Happy found solutions rather fast and took it from there. Lin Shadowhunter, obviously a liability in the last two maps. I think on Twisted, the Shadowhunter can never fall. Never with the Rune Bracers. But Happy made it work. And then on Twisted, not the flashy plays, not the seven surrounds, not the crazy blocks, not the hero saves. Just brain. Army movement, map control, levels. That's what he got. And he played Lin like a fiddle. He got better and better and better. Every single map, whatever space you give him, he's using. And then there are three bases. You can't catch up anymore. Same happened to fly pretty much. Lin is bringing in a fine new idea of how to play this matchup. But as so often, it doesn't really work. I think in perfect games, 